Christopher Tate wormed his way into the coroner's office unchallenged. This was made possible by a group of bad actors posing as concerned citizens to relentlessly harass, attack, and defame our elected officials to the point that no good people are willing to run for office in St. Tammany Parish. You heard it there, now a push for a recall. Some on the North Shore taking action today on the steps of the state capitol. Now that Dr. Christopher Tape has officially become St. Tammany Parish coroner. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield live with the details on where the recall effort stands. Ariel. But Gina, Dr. Christopher Tape, he is officially coroner, which means that sexual assault nurse examination is going away. And like you heard, as there is a big push in Baton Rouge to get Tape recalled, um, there were nurses here, same nurses who were turning in their keys earlier today. Somebody that's just had um, their dignity taken from them, somebody that has had no bodily autonomy deserves somebody that can sit there and take the time to do it right. Janice Barrett is now the former forensic nurse examiner program director for the coroner's office. She and several other sane nurses are out of a job. This comes as Dr. Christopher Tape has officially taken over as coroner. He previously announced a decision to remove the sexual assault nurse exam as a service offered by the coroner's office, a move that would require hospitals to take over the sexual assault exams. Barrett came to the office Monday to turn in her keys. You have something that takes at least three to six hours. Um, as ER nurses, ER doctors, you don't have the time to devote to this. I mean, discussing a consensual sexual encounter is difficult with somebody that you just met. So to ask an ER doctor, you know, to run in in five minutes and get this, this account of what happened to somebody, I mean, that's just ridiculous. Barrett says patient care will suffer, and that's one of the reasons why state leaders and community members are pushing for a recall petition. This decision is, has had a chilling effect on uh, sexual assault survivors and their ability to, uh, to start the healing process and get justice. Monday in Baton Rouge, State Senator Patrick McMath and many others met to kick off the recall petition on the steps of the Capitol. He says roughly 36,000 voters will need to sign it, but the petition won't be filed just yet. The folks that are gonna be really spearheading this uh, decided to, that it would be best to get their, all their ducks in a row, set up the team that's gonna be required uh, to, to get over 36,000 signatures and, and not start the clock today. Uh, because once they file that paperwork, you got six months. And McMath says it is a very tall task getting a successful recall, but we will keep you updated on when that petition is filed. Reporting from the coroner's office, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSC News. Five oh seven.